Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe, all those things, all support is very much appreciated. And in this video we're taking a look at Marvel Legends Wong. So this is Wong from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Finally they have given us a Wong figure. Now Wong is played by Benedict Wong um, in the MCU and he comes with these two effect pieces. And I've said in previous videos how cool these effect pieces are. Um, and they've matched the uh, the skin tone as well. So these are for Wong. They are not for Doctor Strange, which is really nice. He comes with a uh, a sword and obviously a sword holding hand. Now I have no idea what this sword is. Um, oh, and this is the uh, the Rintra Builder figure piece as well. He comes with a left arm and a closed fist. But I'll get into that in a separate video. Uh, let's actually focus more on Wong in this video. And I'll have a look at the Builder figure at a later date. Now, although Wong has shown up throughout loads of films in the MCU, obviously Doctor Strange, uh, Shang-Chi, the Infinity Saga, um, we've not actually had a figure of him yet. And I think that they've really done him justice. The head sculpt is brilliant and really does look like Benedict Wong. Now, a lot of people are complaining that it's too small for the body, but Wong is a fuller guy anyway. And I think they've done him full justice in this figure. The details here on the uh, the costume are really smart. Now this isn't a costume that we've seen yet. We haven't seen him in this one in the MCU. So I'm going to assume that this is obviously to do with his new role as the Sorcerer Supreme. And interestingly enough on the back of the box it does say that Wong takes over for the Ancient One as Sorcerer Supreme. And the leader teaching a new era of sorcerers to protect our reality from mystic threats, mystical threats. So it's implying here that he has taken over and Doctor Strange was never the Sorcerer Supreme, but that might just be the wording on the box and not a plot twist there in the film. But with all the blipping and the five year gap and all the rest of it, who knows what's actually happened. What I do know is we finally have a Wong Marvel Legends figure to add to our shelf. Now, as I said, I'm not 100% sure what this sword does or what its role in the film is going to be, but it's a cool little accessory and I look forward to see Wong wielding a sword. This is the Doctor Strange figure from the same wave uh, that didn't come with a, a builder figure piece, but I've done a full video on him, uh, just focusing on him. So do go and check that out on my channel. But it's great to have a figure representation of Doctor Strange and Wong side by side, even if they are in their new costumes. And the nice thing is, because the head of Wong is so cool, you can pop him off and put him on a different figure, uh, maybe one of the earlier Doctor Stranges, and customise and paint and whatnot, and get yourself an earlier version of Wong, because his, his face didn't change a huge amount. His hair length changed, but, you know, you can be forgiven. So, either way, we have a Wong for our collection. As you can probably tell, I'm very excited, because he's a character that's actually shown up in quite a few of the... Uh, Marvel films. He's shown up in, in about half a dozen of the films and we haven't yet had a figure of him. Um, you can see here his sling ring as well, um, the accessory uh, painted into his belt, uh, sculpted and painted into his belt, which is a really nice little touch. Um, let's just put these effect pieces on. Now I've said previously I really like these effect pieces. They are such an upgrade to what we've had previously and the fact that they are molded onto the hands and you can see the hands through them is a really nice touch. Now he's got quite big kind of trousers here underneath his underneath his robe um, and they're quite difficult to move around I'm not going to lie. Actually look at him he looks quite casually dressed underneath his uh, Sorcerer Supreme robe um, just kind of like a pair of joggers and some boots but either way it looks cool. Um, now you can twist his body all the way around he, he swivels here at the waist and you can twist it all the way around so it allows you to get him in some really cool poses. Um, I think to be honest with you I need to see the film naturally but you know that, that's quite a cool pose but I think the fact that he comes with a sword accessory I'm going to utilize that so I'll probably have one of the effect pieces in his hand and then maybe um, his sword in the hand as well but there we go that's just one pose there um, but he's obviously going to play a pivotal part in the movie so I'm pleased that they did finally give us a figure of him Maybe now that they've got the head sculpt made, they're going to go back and give us an earlier version, maybe like an Infinity War version of Wong uh, to go alongside our Infinity War uh, figures. That would be quite cool. Um, and I really do like the fact that they've matched the skin tone on the hands here as well. So it's not just kind of... It is reused parts. They've reused the, the same effect pieces in Doctor Strange, but they've put the effort in to actually match the skin tones. They've not just kind of bundled in, you know, duplicate hands from other figures. Um, so there we go, let's just mess around with this sword a little bit. It's a really cool sword as well. Um, it's a shame that there's not a way of kind of pinning it to his, his robe. 
Uh, either way, that's it. That is Wong. That's my five minute figure review on Wong. Um, please do like, share, subscribe, all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. And do check out my channel for my other five minute figure reviews on the rest of the figures from this wave. So that's about it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.